Most music books are serious, so they go for music with gravitas. Yours is completely different. How did you persuade people <laughs> this is a good idea for a book? <laughs> well, initially I just persuaded the publisher, so that was the first bit. And then I thought, well, actually, we are in this period of sort of nostalgia for this era in the 90s and the noughties. And yeah. I do think the conversations that people are having around pop stars now, as we look back with sort of mental health and, you know, control power dynamics in that era. So I did think there was a lot there that people would be interested in everything. So why don't I focus on an era that hasn't really been written about, first of all? You know, if I want my book to sort of stand out, then it's good if it's the only one that sort of exists. And then I thought, well, people are aging into their sort of late 30s and they want to feel that sort of warm nostalgia for these bands again that a lot of them are still listening to you know they're they're on streaming now and their streams are doing pretty well so yeah I thought actually there's a fertile area here that I can sort of tap into like letting the pop stars tell the story because they often weren't really allowed to at the time.